So I walk toward the wreckage. I open the door and I look inside. Four people, two were apparently dead, no reaction, no breathing, and the two others on the right side were living but in severe condition. The front passenger uh, was screaming, uh, he was breathing, he could wait a few minutes. And the female passenger, the young lady, was on her knee on the floor of the Mercedes. She had her head down, she had difficulty to breathe, she needed quick assistance. She was unconscious and she had, at the beginning, she had difficulty to breathe. With my respiratory bag, she breathed a little bit better. She regained a little bit more energy, but she couldn't um, say anything. Mamma mia. I, I didn't realize that uh, the young lady was the Princess Diana, one of the most famous uh, women in the world, and uh, I didn't expect that she died so, so quickly. That was a massive shock to learn that uh, she was Princess Diana and th that she died. And immediately after that, I checked with myself and I said, uh, did I do everything I could to save her? Did I do correctly my job? And yes, I couldn't have done anything better. Moi je leur fais un plan comme ça, mais sauf qu'on est pas dans le ciel. Non, 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 vous inquiétez pas. Uh, my wife, especially, was a huge Diana fan uh, while she was alive and I st we still remember exactly where we were when we heard that she died um, in Ontario and it was so sad and so when we were planning our vacation to Paris this was a stop we we had to make for sure we're on our way to the Eiffel Tower but we had to stop here to, to see her. I suppose her legacy will live on forever because she's a very um, idyllic figure um, and uh, for all that she was a very unhappy lady, her story was still one of caring for other people. So I think the, the idea of her being the children's princess and the queen of hearts and that kind of thing was, uh, was, is the legacy that will remain beyond memories of her as a person.